is starting. It's starting. Is there anybody out there? I don't know. Is there? Right. Me. FaceTime. Boink. Right. Usual carry on here, folks. Uh, first person to let me know if this is live wins a... Uh, nothing. Sorry. <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, keeping my eye on chat, which is down there. So, there we go. Afternoon, Mr. Todd. It's working. Right. Um, live review. Thank you to everybody that has turned up and is in chat and is blethering away there just now. Thank you to Dean, the vaping biker, who is God. Uh, so usual rules apply. Uh, if you want to moan about pricing, if you want to go on about clones and all that kind of stuff, then he will sort you out. Um, I will, for the most part of this, be uh, ignoring chat. It will not be until I get to the end, uh, once I've finished the review, and then we'll go to chat, and then if you've any questions, then please save your questions until we get to the end, and then we can have a look at chat, because primarily this is just a bog standard review, but you get to watch me get all nervous and make mistakes, and you also get to have a chat at the end. Now, here's a story. Once again, this is me continuing my quick hit uh, reviews on squonkers. Um, the squonkers that I said no more. No more 3D printed squonkers or anything like that. I was only going to do them if they were completely different to what else is out there. But uh, some more arrived. This one, the Sandy uh, from Sandy Mods. Uh, <laughs> this is such a strange story. Uh, right. I was at Birmingham Expo, um, Vape Expo, and it was, I think it was on the Friday. The Friday, and it had a great day, business to business, or was it Saturday? Anyway, uh, and I was standing outside. It was Friday, because I was waiting on Dean and his missus, that's what it was. And I was at the bus stop, and this guy just comes up to me and goes, gives me this box and goes, there you go, Todd, there you go, thank you very much, I watch all your videos, and I'm like, aha, uh -huh, hello. And this was a guy called Morgan. Uh, now, I'm sure Morgan's from Poland, but he now lives in Paris. And Sandy Mods make this, this little thing here. Now, uh, I have actually just been... <laughs> I've just been on the Sandy uh, Facebook page trying to find out stuff for this review. There's nothing like doing things at the last minute. Um, mainly... B to find out what the symbols and everything meant on here. So I did ask on the Facebook page, so Lewis, Lewis Ashton got it all wrong, but he tried to help me. So I just wanted to do a shout out for Lewis. He didn't get it all wrong. But anyway, I thought I'd mention that. Now, let's get rid of that. No, I need that back. No, I don't. Right, uh, this is a 3D printed mech mod. It is nothing you haven't <laughs> That's the second time I've done that. I keep dropping these bloody doors. Um, essentially, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Um, I mean, it's a nylon carbon fiber SLS printed box. It's polished. It's got its own logos and whatnot on it. It's a Mod Maker 510. It's got copper and it's got copper plate inside. You've seen a lot of this before, hence the reason I'm doing these quick hit reviews. But it is nice. Uh, there's no getting away from that. And I've got to put my phone in silent before I forget. Um, now, just reading some of the spec here, you have to go to the Facebook page. The Facebook page link will be in the description. Just look for San D Mods. And that does not mean San Diego, which I just found out. I'll get back to that. Um, it does have a locking switch. It has a fancy little locking switch on it, which um, I didn't actually realise until this morning when it wouldn't work. But there you go. Um, price for this is €139, Euros, and that works out about £123 from the Facebook page. Uh, I think you can buy them from shops as well, but I don't know if you can get them in the UK. Um, if anybody knows different, feel free to stick it in the comments for the video. Or if I find out otherwise, I will update it. Now, they also do, I'm just reading here, they do an Alumide version as well, which is the same size and markings and so on. 
Uh, it has silver contacts inside and it is 159 euros, which works out about 141 pounds. And I think that will do for that. Right, uh, I'll just, um, here we go, let's have a quick look at chat. Just a, um, are the magnets incorrect? There we go, with the magnets. Uh, leave me alone in the magnets. Right, let's do some close-ups here. So, uh, it comes well presented in that big brown box that you saw. And here's the mod. Now, once again, let's just grab something else. Uh, let's find a, well, here we go. Let's take the Atty off of this for a fair comparison. So there it is next to the Druga that I showed you yesterday. Uh, we'll also get the Molly back down. So there's a Molly. It is, it's pretty much the same size as every little box out there. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's nice. Now, uh, going around, we do have a Mod Maker 510 at the top there. So you're all used to the Mod Maker 510 spring loaded connection. Uh, as I said, it's a nylon carbon fiber finish. It is polished, it is smooth as a baby's arse. It is very, very nice. And the door's just falling off again. Uh, and there's nothing, no markings underneath or anything like that. Right, going inside, we have the standard affair. We have three magnets here. And we have this big water droplet going on here. So you can, yeah, I can get my finger in there, no problem. You know how I like sticking my finger in things. Uh, we have the little snowflake on here. And taking out the Modmaker 510 bottle that comes with it. Mod maker contacts here, and you can see that it's just the usual. You can pull the contact out if you wanted to, and it's just got that little tab down the bottom just to keep it in place. We do have, you know, got the plus and minus indicated there as well. God, I hate reviewing black mods, they're terrible to review. But you know, the door, uh, I've no issues with the door. I mean, it's there's perfect. I mean, that, that is perfect fitment for a, a squonk. A squonk door. Now, this snowflake, actually, I'll cover that when we go back up top. Um, I mean, that really is it. I, I don't, and just taking, this is the bottle that I've been using in it. It's just another mod maker bottle. I mean, the contacts are perfect on it. And I'm sorry about the lighting here. That's, can I get that in any better? The contacts are done perfectly. So I'm just pop my battery in there. Down she goes, no problem at all. Pop the little door on. Boink. That's it. Uh, let's find an Atty. So here's a, a Narda. And I've got a little beauty ring on it. Now everything sits flush, fine and dandy on this. But I'm just using that beauty ring just to go the whole black and black with a little Teflon drip tip. And, and that is pretty much it. The button, uh, just to give you an idea on the throw, hopefully you can see this. It's not going to fire because <laughs> it's locked. Right, if I spin this button, still lock. There we go, spin the button, doink, that way. And just firing. Spin it back and it's locked. I do have to give it quite a solid press to give it the fire, but it works no problem at all. I've no issues there. And, and that's really it for the close-ups. Uh, not much else to tell you. Everything else we shall cover back up top. Oh, yes, we will. Uh, now, story time. Uh, before I have a quick look at chat and, and I'll answer any questions you may have on this. Now, San D doesn't stand for San Diego. It's uh, San Japanese. Uh, three 3D mods. Quite obvious when you find out what it actually means, but I just felt like a complete arse when he explained it to me. And the snowflake, uh, you know, you've got a snowflake, water, uh, so you've got a snowflake, you've got a water droplet here, and then you get vapour comes out the top here. So there is a theme there, and this little logo here is a water molecule. It's quite clever. It is quite clever. It's really clever when you know what it means. When you don't know what it means, it's just, what the hell's that all about? <laughs> it's just.
Now it vapes perfectly. It vapes, and I will say it, it vapes for me the exact same as all my other 3D printed sconkers up there with copper silver contacts. Uh, I have zero issue with the way it performs. Things I like, I do like the fact that this hole where the water droplet is, I can get my thumb in there no problem. Um, and yeah, it, it just, no small little squonk. Big holes, we need big holes for squonking. I'll stop there. Uh, the throw and the switch, it's a firm press. It's not stiff, but uh, you know, you need to give it a bit of a firm push. And I also like the locking switch on it. It's just no problem. Works every single time. Now, it's not like the, the locking switch on the RAM. You know, the locking switch on the RAM, you, you, it was a pain in the arse to get that thing to lock. It was the same kind of idea. This one just spins. No problem at all. Uh, it works really well. Uh, and it's nice to see that included on a Mech mod. Uh, as usual, uh, there is a link in the description that will take you to Steam Engine. Um, go to there. If you have never used a Mech mod before, please go there. Type in what battery you've got. It will tell you how, you know, what what the limits are for that battery. And it will give, you know, how low you can build on it. Check all that stuff first before you start using a Mech mod. And also remember that the vape tails off in a mech mod, you'll get 4.1 volts at the start and then the vape will get weaker as you go along. It's all good. I really am um, struggling to come up with any negatives on this because it's as, and you guys know, I, and you have seen so many 3D printed mods. The print quality on this is flawless. Um, it's well presented and all the rest of it and, and I'm struggling to give you any negatives on this at all uh, I would have no qualms about vaping with this day in day out now that I know what everything means right uh, whilst I think of other things to come up with um, what I will say is Please, uh, if you have any questions on this mod, because I, I literally am, unless you can see anything or you can think of anything, it, for me, um, it's up there with the best 3D printed mods that I've reviewed this year. It's It feels as good as the, the zipper this from C's Mods. It's got that kind of same quality going on with it. So, yes. Obviously, it's copper contacts. Um... I don't know, I honestly don't know, but I think it would be nice if you had the option to get or buy um, silver contacts for this one as well, because it just states that you have to buy the alumide one and it comes with silver contacts. But I would like to be able to buy just the silver contacts for this one as well. Doesn't bother me, but I think it was something that maybe customers would like and possibly they already have that in place. I don't know for a fact, but uh, right. Robert Cromwell, another little plastic mech squonker. Thank you for tuning in, Robert. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, so it's carbon fiber. Uh, it's nylon carbon fiber. It's a, a 3D filament. Um, can you see the printer up there? So you get a spool of filament and it goes through a heated nozzle. Um, if you're using that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, they're probably doing it in an SLS printer, which gives much, much higher quality resolution on your prints. I mean, an SLS printer for commercial ones, you're looking at thousands of pounds for those puppies. You really are. Um, we <laughs> Squonk Raider. Tony Price is saying Squonk Raider have them in stock. Uh, there we go. Um, I'll just have a quick look back up here, see if there's any other questions. Uh, steam engine, doink, uh, boink, boink, boink. It does, Full Monty says it looks like an Imperial marking from Star Wars. It does, it, it really, really does. Uh, that's what I thought at first, I just thought, oh no, another Star Wars themed mod. <laughs> but um, yeah, you live and learn. Uh, Dingo Customs saying would have thought at the price point the contacts should be silver. No idea. 
Uh, I don't know what it costs to make this in France, what labour rates are in France or anything like that. Um, you go from the UK to different countries in the EU, prices are different. It's just the name of the game. Um, <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Hunter says, are you thinking of making your own 3D printed mod? I've made my own. I've made two. But that has nothing to do with this review and they'll never be for sale. Um, and, do you know, that really is it. Um, I, how long have I been going for? Tell me. I've not been going for long. That's great. Um, for me, this is just another 3D printed mech mod, which is done really, really well. Very, very... Ha have I given you any negatives? I don't think I have. Just the points that I made about the contacts, the silver being an option. Uh, there is an Alumide one version available. It comes with one squonk bottle, not two, just the one squonk bottle. Mod maker squonk bottle, which is is firm. It's it's not really really stiff. It's just firm. Uh, it's kind of the ideal press for me. Um, Anything else, there's no damage to the battery wraps when you're taking the battery in and out. Uh, you do have to just, you just give it a tap in your hand and the battery will fall out. Um, that's it. Um, <laughs> those are for the raffle. Uh, yes, those two mods I just showed you are for the raffle. There is a charity raffle going on just now. If you're at all interested, go and watch the video. I am giving away those two printed mech mods that I just showed you, a Narda and some caps as well. Uh, so yeah, feel free to go along and watch that. Um, somebody's asking what material is the best, nylon or alumide? Uh, personally, personally, I like the feel of the, the carbon nylon myself. Alum alumide is really nice, but I just prefer the feel from the polished on this. That's just personal. Um, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you to Dean for looking after the moderation on the chat. If you're at all interested in buying this, then check the links in the description. If anything else comes up or if there's anything else that I've missed from this review, I will put it in the description as always. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm supposed to be doing DIY all day. I really am. But... I may, I may, um, and I'm not sure, but I may try and do a two for one deal and I will just show you off the the Phobia uh, Delrin edition. I've already reviewed this, um, but I'll, I'll show you this. This is the, the Bob Triphobic Phobia, what's it called, mob, mod, you know what I mean, Phobia. Uh, and this is also from SVB Mods in the UK from Nigel. And I'll try and show you them both at the same time. I'll do a two for one deal. If I can get out of doing DIY, I don't know if that'll happen. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go. Guys, have a lovely weekend. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, bye for now. I clicked and stopped streaming, but now it's asking if I want to stop.